people of Gotham need to hear. I, th I thought she was going to say something otherwise, like, I'll, I'll change my answer. <laughs> if you're going to beat this, Bruce, the Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. Ooh, she's trying to get his grace. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family? We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents? It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? That press conference turned into a bloodbath. You tell me. Shh, come on, keep it down. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah. Then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. He has no right to issue search warrants without my okay. Well, that's just not good enough, Harvey. Listen, I'll look into this. I swear. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? That is exactly what I intend to find out. Easy, Bruce. Oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, he would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. I'm sorry I can't do more, Bruce. My hands are tied. There you are. Hey, you? Sorry. Well, I'm, I'm gonna have to play this, late. So. No, no, just glad you made it. Ooh, who's that? Oh! Oh no! You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. I think we both welcome a change of topic. I'm Bruce Wayne. So you are. Pleasure to meet you, Miss... Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Hey now. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm not gonna fall. Oh, Zing! Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. I'd take that ride. Meet anyone interesting? No. Not really. They haven't all been as welcoming as Harv. I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. It's not your fault. Well, I sure hope whatever he took wasn't too valuable. Actually, it was. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm going to explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. It could have been worse. So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Ah, stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. 
Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. She got that much? She got like black eye and everything. He just got like. Oh, come on, you guys can't be that. Nice to meet the real you. Oh, I'll take you. <laughs> Keep quiet. <laughs> Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. And here I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. As I recall, you took something from me, too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. Well... These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's gonna cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. In fact, I spend most of my time avoiding them. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. <laughs> Not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. No. Don't piss me off. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay here? Yeah, I just slipped him your phone number. And you tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything it's not bad. out. It's pretty good. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've got to run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. Screw it up. 